Live from Miami Beach, Florida, it's theCUBE, covering UiPath Forward Americas. Brought to you by UiPath. Welcome back to the former home of LeBron James. I'm Dave Vellante, this is Stu Miniman. We're here at South Beach at the Hotel Fontainebleau. This is the UiPath Forward Americas, and this is theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. Leo De Silva is, is here. He's the process excellent leader for best day travel. And Arnold Schieman, who's the vi vice president of Latin America and Spain, you get to go to all the fun places for a symphony. <laughs> welcome to theCUBE. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you guys for the invitation. Thank You're very welcome. Leo, let's start with you. Uh, best day travel, travel site. You're specializing in, in Mexico and other parts of the region. Tell us about the company. Well, uh, we, are, we have a leadership in, in Mexico, all right? Uh, we are, the last year we have like 5.4 million travelers, okay? And uh, there's a lot of people, okay? We've been in the business for 35 years, 34 years actually, okay? So uh, we're pretty solid, okay? And uh, well, 75% of, the, uh, of the, all the transactions we have online, okay? And 25% we have offline. And uh, that's what we're doing, you know, like all the transformation that we're doing is, is under this uh, 25%, all right? Like just to, 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 to get the digital transformation and everything. Yeah, so 35 years, so you started before the internet. Yeah. Right? So <laughs> the business should be 100% offline. Yeah. You obviously successfully made that, that transition. That's correct, that's correct. Okay, and Arnold, uh, Symphony is the solution provider, right? The, 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 the implementation partner. Yes. in this case, right? Tell us about Symphony and your role. Well, uh, Symphony um, is probably the, it's a boutique that is totally concentrated on RPA management and RPA design and RPA process uh, robotization. Uh, we were invited by Best Day Travel Group to look at uh, the process, to look at the project, and we embarked in a very interesting uh, transformation for them so that they could uh, move into the RPA arena with a clear roadmap. So you guys are both process experts, right? I mean, that's, you live yes. process, you got process in your title. Yes. Talk more about your role, if you would. Yeah, well, uh, I'm a green belt, okay, in Lean Six Sigma, and uh, well, we, we use this methodology actually, uh, and uh, we are, uh, well, like two years ago, we implemented like uh, a BPM, uh, the department, you know, inside the company, just to lead this transformation, okay? So that's what we're seeking right now, to lead this transformation, and uh, it, it's, 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 a, it's a very good challenge, you know? It's not, it's not, it's not easy, but yeah, we're trying to do our best. Well, with your Six Sigma background, I think it would really tie right into what RPA is, because you can really understand what has variance, and what is pretty standardized, and that would seem, uh, you know, is that the direct correlation with things that you can have, the robot and the automation, uh, based on the, really the variance piece? Yes, totally. Uh, you know, uh, well, when you start, when I start the, all, the, all the implementation, well, right before, we start to like to do a benchmark and you know, to see uh, uh, which technology we, we, we wanted to use, and uh, well, we, we found uh, UiPath, all right, in which we found Symfony, and, uh, but it's not exactly, I think the technology is the, is the last thing, right? So the, the technology is, is, is enabling, right? To do all, the, all those things to happen. But if you don't have like a process uh, management, you know, if you don't have that, it's kind of difficult to, 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 to reach the, the target, okay? So uh, yeah, it's pretty much, I think it's, uh, when you, I think the, the most challenging is uh, let people know what they're doing wrong, you know, what they're doing like, you know, repeat, re repeating tasks, right? So uh, when you do uh, like the, the, the process walkthrough, people just get amazed, you know, like, what? <laughs> Are you serious? We're doing that? Yeah, when but did you start. Uh, we're starting in uh, February. This yeah. year? This year, yeah. 2018. Okay, so take us back to February or January, whatever, December when you were, maybe even before that, thinking about the business case. How did it come about and then how did you guys meet? Take us through the sort of initiative. Yeah, well, right before, uh, it was six months uh, before, uh, I think it was on July of last year, uh, we, we started the conversation, right? 
And uh, when I found them, we, we did like six months of benchmarking and, and, and uh, we reached a, like UiPath. And we start to, we start to, to, to uh, trying to get something different, you know, it's like to do something different in enterprise. And uh, we have this need, okay, like from inside, you know, from back office to transformate because uh, it, it's, you know, operation, uh, sometimes it, it, it costs a lot, right? So, uh, and the first, the first step that we, uh, that we did was uh, like a, fu a future of work accelerator, okay? Uh, which is, uh, it, it's a scan, it's a, to it's a total scan of the area, okay? And to see uh, how, uh, how big are the opportunities, okay? To transformate things, right? So, uh, yeah, it was, it was the, the, the first step. And after we had the pilot, you know, we have three, three or four uh, uh, projects on, on and, and you, you were involved from the beginning, yes, Arnold, yes. At, at what, last what, July. Yeah. yeah. One thing which was really very interesting about the project is that the client was the CEO and the CFO. It was totally the C-suite involvement. So, and since we believe that RPA is about the business, is about the process, it was ideal. So we had really. Uh, I believe it was really not work, it was really a good time that we spent together integrating very closely with the team from Best Day Travel Group to the point that you couldn't tell who was from Best Day and who was from Symphony. And then we were able to present to the C-suite the results of the roadmap to move forward with a very clear business case per process that was going to be uh, robotized. Mm. Simultaneously, uh, Best Day wanted a proof inside say let's develop a robotized version of one of the processes and we did one which had been quite successful we were just talking that uh, the amount of work that that robot is handling today live is such that if the robot doesn't operate he wouldn't know what to do because there are so much work to do behind uh, in the past and he doesn't know what what he did but today it is almost impossible to recreate that yeah, that's correct. Yeah, Singularity is here. Yeah, one of the things, I, maybe you can help me understand, because I'm a little bit new to this technology. Okay. How do you figure out, how do you size this? Like, how do you know how many things a robot can do? We heard one of the customers has a thousand robots. How, how does this scale and how does this build out inside of a customer? Two things that uh, we do is that we look at the, the company, we identify those process with um, heavy, uh, I'd say, uh, headcount with lots of repetitive tasks that can be partially or totally robotized. And then uh, we present it as a roadmap because the first question they have is, how do we start? I mean, this is the company, 3,000 people, 4 million passengers, where do we start? How we get good advantage of the robots? And that's how we did it. And then uh, it's, it's, it's going on the project. We just did the first part. Uh, we continue now with the second part, which is going to be even more interesting. Uh, yeah. What did what yeah, the mind. business case look like? I mean, was it, was it a, a saving money? Make, presumably, uh, some, of the, some of this was, was cost reduction right off the bat. Yes, right? yes. So talk about the business case. What's that framework look like? Yeah, well, well the, the, actually, we have a pilot that we just, we just did. We, we launched a wedding, all right? The business case was like to, uh, to reduce costs, all right? The operational cost is very high. Okay, so now uh, we have like, just to, to have an idea, the situation uh, before, we have like six person uh, working, you know, uh, like the eight hour shift, okay? And doing uh, issuing tickets and, you know, and right now we have like just one robot and uh, we, we built a capability of 100, 126%, okay? On this, just with one robot. Right, uh, yeah, it, it's amazing. It's amazing, and 24/7. You know, it, right now it's working pretty, pretty and, fine. And specifically, where do the cost savings come from? Uh, well, the cost savings is not exactly the FTEs, but uh, it's a uh, it's a customer's experience, okay, and also the capability that you can build, all right, to to get more uh, sales. Okay, and uh, well, there's another project that went before that we had uh, the, the first one. We have uh, to cost uh, to, to to reduce the cost of the operation. You know, for 65 people, right? And for uh, the 
the transactions it costs a lot of money for us. Okay, so so that's that's how we are, we're trying to uh, we're trying to understand that and we try to eliminate this cost or reduce at, you know like as it, much it, as we can. It's a part of that's you redeploy people, you put them on other tasks. Is that yes. what you're doing? Yes, yes. We free them up and you, you put another another you add value task, right? So the, uh, the CFO is one of the, the, the stakeholders here. It was so many CFOs might say, okay, well, we're not going to cut headcount, so where do I get my savings? So the answer, if I'm hearing it, is, well, we're going to increase revenue because these people are going to be on other tasks. That's it, and, yes. And, and do you have visibility and line of sight as to how fast that can happen? Whether is it already starting to happen? Yeah, already started to happen. Already started to happen. Like in, in you know, the, this project was, like we have the, the, the Roy back in, 15 days. I was going to ask you, you know? what the what the break even was. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was inside it's, of a month. You know, it's already paid. You know, 15 you know, 15 days, it's already paid, right? So uh, yeah, yeah. So the the CFO is pretty now, now relatively happy small. With that. First project was relatively small, right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Just proved it out. Now you're going to throw a gasoline on the fire. That's it. That's uh, it. <laughs> that's great. Okay, so what's what's next for you guys? Well, where do you want to go? Uh, we we're going to go to the customer service, you know, like uh, and the traceability. There's a traceability project that we have to do, all right, just to uh, uh, to have to have the client in front of everything, you know. So that's our strategy right now, and we're going to do. Uh, well, Symphony is going to help us out with uh, RPA and uh, with implementation and and, and and the process because uh, it's going to be. Uh, the, a new process, it doesn't exist, all right? So it's going to be a new, brand new one. So we have to create from, from scratch. Yeah, Arnold, I wonder if you can go a little broader for us on this. It sounds like you've got a perfect partner inside <laughs> the company with you know, process in his title. You had the C-suite engaged. Is that a typical deployment? What, what are you finding? It is not typical, but it is, that is something that we look for all the time. Because it's, if the client is not engaged, we can do nothing. If the C-suite is not engaged, there is very little process people can do. And by being engaged, the C-suite, we are driving the cost reductions. But there is another point besides cost, consistency. And also we are uh, eliminating silos that had existed for a long time. Because the companies started with one organization, then the, another one, another one, and all of them touch the customer. What the robot will be doing to them, uh, hopefully before the end of uh, the year, early next year, to be able to see the transverse of the customer. One and a half million passengers arriving to Cancun and they are their passengers. But you don't know how many people will come back. So you better know that this guy came here, they like to go scuba diving. Next time he's around, we can offer him a scuba diving. We can pick him up at the airport. We can offer other services and then the company is structured to be exponentially, so that you can grow from four million to eight million passengers without adding headcount. Adding, that, that's, that is the future okay. of Best Day Travel Group, and that's why we have engaged top management. Okay, so you, you're, you're looking at the, 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 the moonshot, double the number of passengers served with the same headcount. That's, that's a huge productivity boost. So, so I'm hearing 15 day break even, some of that was hard cost reduction, there's revenue increase, it's proven. Now you're going to invest more consistency, better customer service, cross-selling. Yes. Hey, they like to scuba dive, maybe we can make an offer here. And, and, and better data allows you to do that. That kind of summarizes the business case. And we're talking, I mean, I don't want to you know, squeeze the <laughs> NPV out of it, but we're talking Millions? Hundreds of thousands? Millions. Hundreds of millions? Millions, right? Yeah, 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 it's pretty much there. It's a, it's a, it's a huge number, you know? It's a huge number, and uh, yeah, we have a, a lot of opportunities, you know? And, uh, and uh, I, think, I think it's going to be a success, you know? Okay, and, so. and presumably the employees want to be part of this ride, right? They want to get, whether it's retrained or become RPA experts, deploy this technology, drive their digital automation, and yes. service those eight million customers with with the same resources, you know, or invest in other resources, yes. new growth areas. Yes, yes. Great story. Yeah, it is, it is. We're, we're working hard <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to yeah. do that. We're privileged you know. to have him work with them because it, they are, I say, unique, that it was done for us from day one. Everything was put in place, engagement, people, and then the company itself 
is very easy to manipulate and, and, and transform because of the way it was structured 30 years ago. And, and why UI path? I mean, you said you sort of chose them last summer. Why, why'd they win? Uh, well, because of, uh, well, during the benchmarking, uh, I see, I, I, I could see I, a lot of difference between them, you know, and uh, we have concluded that, well, they uh, actually, Symfony recommend us, all right? So UiPath, you know, you know what? So UiPath, for, for this situation, it's going to be the, the, the best solution, right? And after after that, we, we're pretty sure that it, it it's, it's, the, it's, the best, uh, it's the best choice, right? Because of the functionalities, because a lot of a lot of stuff that they have that they bring to us, you know. Do you worry about uh, Do you worry about shadow RPA? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> the divisions going off and doing their own robots, or, or you guys got a handle on that? Yeah, <laughs> you know. No, I'm not worried about that, you know. But uh, yeah, it, Maybe it's that's gonna a happen. good thing. Yeah. yeah. All, right. yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right, gentlemen. Thanks so much for coming on the cube. It's great to have Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. All right, Thank keep you. it right there, everybody. Stu and I will be back at UiPath Forward Americas. Right after this short break, you're watching theCUBE. We'll be right back. <laughs>